Tonight we'll uh, write a piece of uh, fashion history. It's, it's magical in a way. It's a unique opportunity. You know? I don't think that we'll be allowed in the future to use public monuments for private things. We are excited to be able to host the very first and probably very last fashion show uh, with the model walking on the water on the front. In 2012, we decided to restore the Trevi Fountains uh, with uh, an investment uh, of 2.6 million euro. And uh, this was meant to benefit and give back to the city where Fendi was born and found. But at that time, already in 2012, we had the idea and the dream to be able one day to stage a fashion show at the Trevi Fountain. And four years later, here we are. These 90 years have been uh, full of important moments and uh, I think that's full of passion at work. Fendi is a story of women and Karl Lagerfeld. This was uh, and is still the base of the success of Fendi. I knew Sylvia as a child when she was four years old and now she's a grandmother, huh? even if she looks very young. When I was a little girl I could talk to him about any subjects that was not related at all to fashion and he could always give good advice and a good and pre precise point of view. We have a great relationship, she has great taste and she is there not because she is a Fendi, because she is good. I always say that I feel that I am like an orchestra director but you know they all have to play in the best way and together. I think it's really amazing that you know Fendi's having their 90th anniversary here. You can really feel the history when you're there. It's a mix of uh, of past and uh, and future. You know, it's this perfect balance. When everyone sits down to watch the show, everyone is just there for the same thing, watching the same thing, and taking in the same thing. And it's a really incredible moment when everyone's so passionate about something. <laughs> and watched a procession of magical looking creatures wearing kind of fairy tale outfits, northern European fairy tales and Roman culture and somehow it all came together. I like the idea that people work with their own imagination. They see something, it's not a message, it's a presentation, it's a vision. Uh, I think it's a little fascist to have messages you're reminded when you actually see the extraordinary couture pieces of, you know, the 90-year legacy of the artisanship of Fendi, and there is something magical about that. It doesn't happen enough in fashion, but when it does, then it makes me feel inspired and positive about the landscape of, of fashion. Each show that we do with him, we relook at the show all together and then he stands up and says, okay, up to the next. <laughs>